So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today's video, we're going over Synology Photos. So what is Synology Photo? So Synology Photos allows you to back up your photos to your network attached storage, and that could basically replace your iCloud, replace your Google Drive, or cause if you own a NAS, this is already included as part of your purchase. So this video, we're gonna walk through the setup, what the requirements are, then I'm gonna show you how to sync Synology Photo to your mobile device. Now, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so like I said in the intro, if you have a Synology NAS, any network attached storage from Synology, you should have the ability to get Synology photos. So uh, in order to get this, you are gonna need to first have your NAS set up, be signed in like I am. If you haven't set up your Synology NAS, definitely check my Synology playlist. That will show you step-by-step -step instructions how to get this up and running. So in order to get this up and running, you will need Synology Photo on your network attached storage, and you also need it on the mobile device that you're looking to sync. In order to get it on your NAS, you're gonna go to your package center, and you're just gonna search for photos. All right, so you can see it right here. I already have it, obviously, but this is where you'll be able to install it just to get it on your NAS. Over to your mobile device, same thing, guys. You're just going to go to your App Store. This works for Android as well as iOS. Just going to search Synology Photos. All right, so it's going to be this one right here. You're going to see the icon. Go ahead and download it, and you're all set. So back to the network test storage. Another thing you want to think about is how you want to connect your mobile device to your network test storage. There's two basic ways you can connect to it locally. So you'll be using the local IP address or you can connect using your Quick Connect ID. So I do recommend at least setting up the Quick Connect. And in order to, to verify or set this up, you're going to go to your control panel. You're going to go to external access. I do have Quick Connect enabled right here and my Quick Connect IDs right there. So uh, below is gonna show you the link. If you save this link, just type in this link to any browser. It doesn't have to be in your household. You can connect to your NAS, then you'll be able to put in your username and password and access the NAS as if you were at home. So that's one option to connect. You can also set up via IP address and we'll show you how to do that once we get over to the mobile device. So let's dive a little bit into Synology Photos. Let me go ahead and launch it. And just like most Synology apps, Synology Surveillance Station, when you launch it, it opens up in a separate tab on the browser. So you can see inside my photos, I have photos, I have mobile backup, and I have photo library. Now photo library, these are gonna be pictures that you upload manually to your device. So basically, if I was to go here, either on my phone or on my computer, I can go ahead and add, I can upload a photo. Let's say I go to my screenshots, I'm gonna upload this NVIDIA Shield picture. It will pop up and this would also sync across my mobile device. So this is where all the photo library backup is gonna be. Now your mobile backup, this is where your actual phone is gonna be backed up. So you can see I do have an iPhone backup and I'll show you how all that works here in a little bit. But if you hit the drop down, you're gonna see the years and mine is currently still syncing. So we'll see how far I get by the end of this video. 2024, 2023, if I click on 2024, you can see I have all the months, guys, um, January all the way through August, so we're currently in August. But if I go to 2023, all right, look like it's still syncing. So December and look like we're in August. So it is still syncing, couple thousand pictures for it to sync. So within this, you have a lot of options. So you can change the size of the thumbnail so you can zoom in, zoom out, make it smaller. Of course, you can upload photos, create folders. You do have the option to sort it a little bit. So by type, by size, by name, you can change the view of the thumbnail as well. All right, you do have the slideshow option as well. And if you hit on the three dots, you can create a photo request link and you can also share. So a lot of different options here. You do have a great filter option. You do have file type, date taken, geolocation. So if I wanted to have everything sorted, let's say by date taken, I would just uncheck everything, click OK and it will reorganize by the date taken. So everything on my iPhone is currently backing up. And cool thing about this is if I go on here, if I delete a photo, let's say I delete this video, it will delete on the NAS and it will also be marked for deletion 
on the mobile application and we'll get into that here in a little bit so pretty cool stuff another thing that i want to mention is that because synology has the option to create users so if you go into the control panel go to users and groups you can add a user each user will get their separate synology photo on their desktop so when they log into their nas they'll have the photo station then they can log into their phone with their username and password and it'll sync just to their profile so i think that's pretty cool enough about the desktop view let's go over to the application and show you what it does when you launch your app for the first time you're going to see this login screen you can see first you're going to need to identify your synology nas so this is where you put in either the ip address or the quick connect id and i did mention that earlier that if you want external access you want to use that quick connect id if you want only internal access or the ability to connect internally you'll put in that ip address so for this i'm going to use my quick connect id i'm going to put in my username remember each user that you create on your nas is going to get a username and i'm going to go ahead and put in my password i'm going to go ahead and sign in And you can see I'm currently signed in guys and you can see everything that's being synced and it's still syncing as we speak. So as far as the main area, you can start by year, by date, by folder. So a lot of different options in here. Uh, this upload the videos as well as your photos. So pretty cool. At the bottom, you're going to have your photos. You're going to have albums is going to be the next option. You're going to have the option to share. So you can go ahead and share with others. Up top, you can do some searches. You can enter name, tags, so on and so forth. If you hit the three dots, you can upload or play a slideshow. Below the hamburger menu, if you click on that, this is where you're going to get into some of those cool settings that I think makes this worth it. So first, you're going to have your backup. Click on backup. You can see I currently have it off. Go ahead and turn it on. You can see it has a couple options here for you. So first, backup new photos only. So only photos that's taken from this point will be backed up. You also have the option to scan and backup all photos. So this is gonna scan your entire phone and backup every photo and video that's on your phone. Below you do have the destination path. Um, you can create a custom path, but I went ahead and just left it. You have the auto create month year. So those options you can play with. Wi-Fi only, that means that this was only do backups while you're on Wi-Fi. So for me, I have unlimited data. I want it to back up all the time, even when I'm not on Wi-Fi. So turn that off. Next option is photos only. If you turn that on, only your photos will be backed up. So if you want to back up your videos, you want to go ahead and leave that off. Click done. All right, so we'll scan the phone eventually and it will start backing up. Below that, you have the option to free up space. So 142 identical copies are on your destination space. So that means that you have 142 photos that's on your phone and on your NAS. It gives you the option to clear those items that's on this phone. So essentially freeing up space on your phone. I would just be cautious, make sure I have everything before I hit that option. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it for now. You do have the settings. Now within settings, a lot of different options. You can sort, you can show dates and locations. You have the quality playback. So you have auto, you have best quality or speed first, your preference there. Below that, you have the option to rename by date taken. Deletion settings. So if you click on that, you have two basic options, delete from NAS and phone or delete from NAS only. So essentially within the photos app, whether it's on your NAS or on your phone, when you delete something, what do you want to happen? So it'll either delete from your NAS only or it will delete from your NAS as well as your phone. If you delete something on the web, you will go to this out of sync area and this will just give you a second chance to make sure you want to get rid of it on your device. So if you click on that, you'll see all these photos. This is what I've deleted. Now I do have a couple options. With removing these, I can either select specific ones, I can ignore all of them, or I can delete all of them. So select, delete all of them, remove them, it will delete all of them from my device. You have your cache management. So mine's set to 500 megabytes, but um, definitely you can play with increasing the cache size can optimize the browsing experience when the network connection is unstable. So up to you if you want to up it or if you want to just leave it as is you can also configure a password for this application so when you turn this on it will ask you to just set a password so if you want to set a four digit password for 
this app so whenever someone opens it they don't just get access to everything they have to put in the password that option is there as well you also have trusted connection analytics help support privacy and that's all for the settings below that you have the option to sign out and like i said for this once it start backing up and if i go you can see it's currently scanning all the items on my phone it will start backing everything up you can see it's preparing and backing up but it will get to a couple thousand then it will start backing everything up once it's done guys every video and folder that's on your phone will also be replicated on your nas that way you do have a copy and you do have option to clear up that space on your phone like i said if you're someone who owns a synology nas this is a great option because you can finally ditch icloud you can ditch google drive or dropbox wherever you're backing up to and you can do this for free on your own so that was synology photos let me know what you guys think do you own a synology nas if you do is this something that you use on a regular basis as always if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.